Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the H channel. Um, today is a lovely morning. It's uh, 10 o'clock here and sitting next to me is Alan Tan, the Managing Director of the Habitat. Guess what? I'm now in Penang Hill. You know, we have this uh, lovely weather, lovely environment and sitting in this giant swing, having a nice talk with um, Alan. Um, so Alan, tell us about the Habitat. Um, tourists come here, they come up to the Penang Hill, you know, they can take the jeep up or they can take the railway up. Uh, once they step into um, Penang Hill, a bit of walk and they reach Habitat. Mm -hmm. What can a tourist do when they spend a day here? Sure. Uh, good morning everyone and hello from the Habitat Penang Hill, the gateway to the Penang Hill Biosphere Reserve. Um, basically, uh, and hi Ziming, it's lovely to meet you yeah, and uh, nice to welcome meet you. to you and your team and uh, everyone on, you know, on, online. Uh, you know, welcome to Penang and welcome to Penang Hill. Um, so what can people do when they come to the habitat? Well, really, um, so I, I often get asked the question, uh, how long should I budget to, uh, to, how much time should I, should I set aside to spend in Penang Hill and to spend at the habitat? I always tell people that you can take one hour or you can take half a day or you can t even take an entire day if you like. And it really is entirely up to you. What we really, uh, try to do when we get people when people visit us is to reconnect them to nature and in that way to ask them to disconnect from their from their daily lives and to just take a step a step back and to slow down a little bit so you can actually literally uh, walk through the park by yourselves and I think that you will, would have seen uh, uh, from this program a few of the things uh, that we offer here at the park from Langer Way Canopy Walk to Curtis Crest Treetop Walk as well as just the beautiful rainforest that we are you know next to the Bukit Karajaan uh, our Government Hill Permanent Forest Reserve. Mm. Um, we also offer guided walks uh, which uh, we, we are now calling the Penang Hill Biosphere Reserve Discovery Walk and we offer um, forest bathing programs which is a two and a half hour program where our guides will take you through the rainforest and activate your five senses to help you experience what we have to offer, what nature has to offer here on Penang Hill. Wow. Yeah, mm. so there are really, um, there are many, many things that you can yeah, do Yeah, I mean, I had a chance to talk yeah. to um, some of your people working here. Yeah. I think they are, they are very creative, yep. you know, from the, the, the gift, you know, close to the nature. There are yep. actually a lot of activities that you can hold it here. Yeah. You know, whether, like you said, whether it's a, you know, two hour thing or half a day thing, yep. you know, you can even hold events. Yep. Right. Yeah. And uh, this yeah. weekend, uh, we have uh, we have a concert here uh, as part of the Georgetown Festival wow. for 2021. It's called The Senses. It's actually uh, uh, basically it's a it's a nod to the rainforest and to nature and to Mother Nature. And we're holding it at Curtis Crest, our treetop walk, uh, which is really uh, one of the I have a, I always have a very good feeling when I go there. Uh, when you go there, it just it just feels very it feels right. You know? Yeah. 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 I understand the the habitat was opened in 2016. Yes. And uh, prior to that, you, you returned to Penang in 2014. Yes. Right. And you oversaw uh, the, the construction of yep. this this entire project, yes. including the structure, you know, the bridge, Curtis yep. Crest. You know, you, you showed yep. us all this. It's yep. very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm I'm very proud to have been involved in the project from the very beginning. Uh, we won the uh, RFP for the project uh, in 2010, and it took us a couple of years to uh, uh, negotiate the terms uh, with the state. And then we finally kicked off the project in 2013. And I returned from Hong Kong where I was based uh, at the headquarters of, our, of our, our parent company, the Pacific Tiger Group. Uh, in Hong Kong at the time. I returned to Penang. I'm a Penang boy, proud, very proud Penang boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I, I'm really proud and glad and happy to have been involved from the very beginning. So uh, all the white hair and all the extra pounds you see on me is because of, <laughs> because of the blood, sweat and tears, you know, and the joy. True, yeah. Truly, the joy which I've had uh, being involved in this project. Yeah, I can, yeah. re I can assure you. You know, once you step into the habitat, you'll be yeah. very much impressed. You know, by the effort. You know, from the team, uh, yeah. from nothing up until what they built today. It's Thank very you. impressive. Thank you. Let's continue to take yes. our walk. Sure. Okay, so um, Alan, the the entire habitat was uh, started as a foundation. No, actually, um, well, we did want to start it as a foundation. But uh, eventually, we went with a uh, standard uh, St. John Berhad, right. list, public, uh, private St. John Berhad uh, company. Yeah. But um, along the way, we came back to really uh, becoming a what we call a purpose-driven business. 
So we are uh, a business that measures our success uh, based on the triple bottom line approach. So over and above shareholder return, we measure our success on our impact on community or people, as well as on the planet or the environment. Mm -hmm. So people, planet and uh, profit. This, so so when, when was this company set up? So we uh, established the company in uh, 2013. 2013? Uh, yeah. yeah. By and Dato Dr. Harry, Harry Cockrell. Dr. Harry. So our founders are uh, the Cockrell family. They are, sorry to interrupt. They are long-time residents of Penang Hill. And they really, uh, the habitat exists really because of their love for Penang Hill and their very intimate and close relationship with nature. Right. So the family are all nature lovers. Okay. And they have uh, they've all had a home here on Penang Hill in one of the historical bungalows here for since the 90s. And this is easily their most their favorite home in the world. Uh, they own homes around the world. Yeah. And this is their favorite home. They love sure. Penang. Yeah. They truly love Penang. So, so the objective yeah. of the what what um, Dato was trying to do it is to to preserve this entire yes. the, the green the yes. environment. Yeah, maybe so, you want to elaborate yes. on that. So basically what started as a commercial, strictly commercial venture, uh, the Habitat Eco Park here in Penang Hill, has evolved over time since 2016 into a, um, a business which, which, uh, which has a purpose. Okay. And the purpose is expressed through the work of the Habitat Foundation, mm. our foundation, mm. uh, uh, which we which works in the areas of conservation, research, environmental research, mm. uh, biodiversity research, environmental education. Mm. So uh, environmental education really is a cornerstone and a key part of everything that we do, right. both here at the park and through the work of the foundation. Mm. Uh, and we also have a mini grants program that promotes um, uh, sustainability, biodiversity conservation, as well as training and capacity building in the ecotourism space. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So all this is, is what we do. It's the purpose for which we, uh, we exist. Very, very yes. impressive. Yes. We are currently at the Curtis Square. So um, overlooking the whole of Penang, it's very, very beautiful. You know, viewers from H Channel, please come up here whenever you have time. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place where you can see the, the, the whole view of Penang. We look forward to it. <laughs> Alan, I have a question. Yes. Uh, just this year, 2021, yes. uh, we attained the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Yes. Right. Um, tell, us, tell us about this. You know, what does yep. that mean to you and how do we get, sure. we get this uh, award? Sure. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've so on the fifteenth of September, twenty twenty one, uh, Penang Hill, the Penang Hill Biosphere Reserve, was designated as a as a biosphere, a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve under the Man in the Biosphere Program. Mm. Uh, so now Penang is not is home to not just one UNESCO accolade or international recognition, namely the World Heritage Site in Georgetown. We're also home to an environmental uh, designation from UNESCO, the exactly. Man in the Biosphere, right. UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. So I'm. I'm, I'm personally incredibly proud uh, to be a part of this. Uh, our founders, the Cockroaches, are also incredib incredibly proud to, and our entire team are very, very proud to have been the first ones to broach this um, subject in the public realm. Uh, it was very quickly picked up by the Penang State Government uh, and uh, the, the then uh, Chief Minister LGE and um, and and. Uh, um, Datuk Chok, who is the GM of Penang Hill Corporation, was uh, appointed as the project manager and very quickly, in a very short space of 12 months, we managed to arrive at the designation area. So the Penang Hill Vice Reserve starts here in Penang Hill, on the, in the hills of Penang Island, and goes all the way to the National Park by the sea and into the marine environment. So it's a combination of habitats of uh, hill diptera carp forest, uh, coastal forests, as well as marine. And it's a really special. Uh, it's, a, it's a very special thing, actually. I'm, we're incredibly proud. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm truly amazed as a, uh, a Penang-born person. You know, we have these two UNESCO status. Yes. One is at uh, Georgetown UNESCO uh, site, and the other one here up in Penang Hills. Yes. Thanks for the walk this morning, Alan. Um, I, re I really enjoy um, the entire experience in the habitat. Um, you know, it's to me, it's a unique experience because as a Penangite, uh, we actually have this uh, very beautiful uh, hill. It's a 130 million year old virgin forest in the Penang Island. We are not far from the airport, you know, half an hour car and then just a five minute tram up in, in this beautiful place. Um, if you're coming into Penang for work, you know, you can spend a weekend here. 
and um, like we said just now, you know, in the morning you can spend in the in, in the hill, and in the afternoon you can go to our Georgetown, and then in the evening we can enjoy the the beach. Yep. So in this. Uh, little island in Penang there are so many things yes. that you can do right yes yeah. truly I mean uh, we're really blessed uh, I think uh, we, you know uh, we're really blessed to be living here I think exactly. uh, to have this beautiful uh, space uh, to mm. call home mm. uh, you know we are you know UNESCO Biosphere Reserve uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, um, it's not that we need UNESCO to tell us that we are special. That Penang is special. I think uh, you and I both agree yeah. that uh, Penang is is a is a really beautiful and special place, and we're all very proud to be Penangites. Yeah. Uh, so um, you know, we hope to see everyone here soon, and yeah. we hope that when international borders open again, that uh, our friends will return from overseas mm-hmm. and uh, and you know come and. And yeah. experience what what we locals already know that uh, Penang is a pretty pretty amazing place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan, yes. uh, you lived in Hong Kong. Yes. You know, uh, how do you compare these two islands? You know, Hong Kong yes. versus Penang. Yes. Um, okay. So uh, I always tell a very funny story about how how I used to be when I lived in Hong Kong. So um, coming home to Penang was always. Uh, on my radar is something which I always wherever I went in the world uh, and uh, no less when I was in Hong Kong uh, for six years I always thought to myself how can I come home to Penang mm. how do I get how can I get home to Penang uh, but what one funny thing which I did notice when I lived in Hong Kong was that uh, the minute I got off the plane I walked faster <laughs> but and vice versa whenever I came home I would the minute I get off the plane I just relaxed a little bit yeah the place uh, here yes, is uh, yes. comfortable yes. you know yes. it's, it's, it's very, very nice. enjoyable yeah. very pleasant uh, pace of life um, and yet one important thing which I think you must never forget is that we are connected to the world we're still connected to the world in Penang. Yeah. Uh, we have a wonderful international airport uh, gateway, you know, to the region and to the to, to other other uh, exactly. travel nodes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and being caught in, in Southeast Asia, I guess, is, is and being where we are geographically, mm. it really is very easy to get anywhere to go anywhere. Yes, yes. It's yeah. definitely an Accessible. Advan- advantage yeah. to, to yeah. us and um, especially this this island. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for today's episode. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye.